I went to medical school at the University of North Texas Medical Health Science Center. I then went to Michigan, which is where I grew up, to do my internship. That was then followed by four years of a residency in obstetrics and gynecology. And after I completed my OBGYN residency, I went on to Philadelphia to our nation's first hospital, Pennsylvania Hospital, to do my fellowship in reproductive endocrinology and infertility. You know, it's funny, my dad was an OBGYN. He was a general practitioner. He was a, a generalist in OBGYN. He sort of favored infertility, and it just kind of turns out that I ended up being kind of a natural extension of my father. But I just, um, I just loved the, the aspects of infertility that just help parents um, achieve their dream of having a family. I came to HRC because there was a very similar practice styles when I met the two physicians I joined with. And so because of their practice styles and the quality of medical care, really being dedicated to you know, continuing education, having a state-of-the-art practice that helps fertility patients, um, with that along with the weather, I just was convinced this was a place for me. You know, outside of HRC, I'm involved in some different, different organizations, professionally, primarily with the American Society of Reproductive Medicine, and the Pacific Coast Reproductive Society because those are sort of the best organizations to maintain excellent continuing education. On a more personal level, I like to do a lot of different service projects. I like to give back to the community if I can, and so I do a fair amount of service projects primarily through my, my local community church. In patients who are struggling with, with fertility issues, I always try to tell them that don't let the fear of the unknown keep you from seeking treatment. And really, regardless of the, the roadblock that they're experiencing for their fertility, there's always something we can usually do to circumvent that, and so there's always reason for hope. What I love most about what I do is that I'm a dad, and as a dad I've discovered that there's really, you know, the love for your kids is kind of like no love you've ever had for anything else in your life. And so, you know, once discovering that and experiencing that and feeling that, it just really has motivated me to help other, other patients, other couples, um, to be able to achieve that dream of creating their own family.